Kirilov out of the two spot. Dodgers, Clark, he's got to give the Dodgers some length today, the light. And a one-two pitch, swings and misses. And I just mentioned it, Joe, about the Twins not being. And over the first two games of this. This off speed up. It's take it another four years. And like a house by the set. So May puts him away. On a line, Trace Thompson makes the play. And Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Will Smith back in the lineup. His 11th season in the major leagues. We've shown Sonny Gray is not. Hey, so there is a violation. Home plate umpire Dan Bellino. Balls in a leadoff walk. It's booted by Kirilov and everybody's saves. And it brings up Will Smith in a scoreless first three and six on the year when they failed a home pitch. Got him with a high fastball. Then Will Smith chases. Then a four pitch walk with another very wide mid. One, two, Hayward down swinging. His pitch just dropped in the first game. Oh, from Gray. Short. Correa's got it, and the Dodgers stranded. Coming out, or is Kobe going to make his Dodger debut? Three years. Kobe pitched for them. Then he went to the Red Sox out of their bullpen in 2020. The bullpen that's serious. That's a bloop. Broken his bat, but strong enough to. Into the bat. Taylor is short. Feeds second. Second. Vargas to second one. To first. As it stands, the inning continues. Gordon can really He's run. 1-0. Right side, bunch of soft in this inning. The first really feel feel Joey Gallo to get Outman. The one two from Gray Taylor's down on strikes and Sonny Gray going with the ages breaks it off. Strike three. It's life. So he got rid of all the draft picks through, and I guess the. the to second, been a bunch of induced here. Two gone and sleeping like 15 hours a day. Stadium and pass it for the LH. The track can't gases for Mookie Betts. In the air to left. Let's see. Strong arm makes the catch, throws it up the line, and it's cut off, and the Dodgers are on the board. It's a 16 game up. It's a breaking ball. Two it? pitch. Smith runs as Muncy takes his second walk of the afternoon. Third total for Gray. And the second out. Dodgers strand a couple more. Seven miles an hour. Wow, and he gets Correa very quickly. Came in that I feel like he's going to have the advantage. Drive left center field. Hit pretty well. Upman's going back, looking up, and that ball is gone. Byron Buxton has tied the game. One. Palak at the middle, but Taylor's two up. These twins hitters. What a oh. Freddie Freeman to Cole. And that will sometimes does in this. Such a sigh of relief right there. There goes the runner, throw from Vasquez, not in time. Gets a good jump, Vasquez, quick relief. In the minors. Larnick twisting back on it, gets there. Another 2-2, two -two. tear it off, two out. Line drive, center field, base hit. Betts with a two-out RBI single. Outman into score, and the Dodgers are back in front. Two out hit in team in the National League. So difficult to, to Korea. And that'll do it for Kobe. And strikes out. Yeah, that's just a fastball right down the middle, and you just watch as you mentioned. Comes back home. Castro swings and misses. Back to back Cade. Five total for the Dodgers. In Betts is there, and he snags that one. Muncy leading off the fifth. He swings and misses. Hit him early in the count with all fastballs in the last three pitches. Tap to third. Kyle Fox. Two quick outs. Have their issues against left handers. Vargas one. Gets a fastball there and shoots. 
Throw from Vasquez, right on the money. He throws out Vargas and ends the fifth. Now Gallo, gets one to center field, going back is out, but still going back, and we are tied. Joey Gallo to straightaway center field. Goes to the Nets in front. Shortstop, Carlos Correa. Correa won for a Brief inning against Covey and the Twins. Walks on four pitches and the bases are loaded. He had to come in to relieve Dustin May. He's going to be pleased with what he's done today. And now Victor Gonzalez finds two, it too. Two. Only to the corner of the infield and Freddie. Gonzalez deals and strikes him out. Right hand. Deals and Farmer there. Victor Gonzalez somehow gets her completely. Making his first big league appearance in years. Gotta go back to 20. Fouled into the glove. What was it? Yeah. Castro is there. Well, he was and there are two gone. On Vasquez. And that'll do it. Be hard. Four seam fastball. The cutter. He's been Play right side. Forget himself. Commits. It's just gonna be a foot race. That's it. Back to 2-2 yeah, two, two from Caleb Ferguson, and he gets him, tying him up with that high. Just an excellent pitch for two reasons. Not Ferguson's only Ferguson's got him at third, but he's or on Ferguson's throwing air. Got time. He's trying to hit Max on the run, and another 2-2. Two, two. And this time Ferguson gets him. Kirloff had continued to foul. Runner with third, two out, and Carlos Correa coming up. Two. Plate, Gratterall there with a bare hand. Whips it to Minnesota. On three pitches. Time now for Jimmy Johns. Quality at bat. Man, oh man. It's been since he pitched in the big leagues? Two years. <laughs> Field. Dodgers have been here to the day for Smith. It's another strike. Yeah, we're going to have it. Dodgers tying run and score. This ball elevated and good enough to finish off De Leon's dead. Dodgers have him at first and second. Down a run in the seventh inning. There they go. Here it comes. Hayward takes ball four to load the three one pitch. What a take. This game is tied. Pass to another rookie and James Altman who lifts a fly ball to center field. It sends Taylor back on the track at the wall. Grand slam! Center field. Gallo can't find it, now does. Smith and Muncie single. Hayward and Vargas big time as we go to the eighth. Nash is facing the lefties. Freeman's got a 44 clip and he when it comes to James Altman. That's punched by the Vargas in second. With an OPS above 1,100. First. Great. <laughs> you got it. Thompson rips one. Oh, no. Caught by. I hit it hard, all those sort of things. But forget that. I won't even care how I get him. Interfield for Taylor. He's not an everyday guy. Right. So it might be. That will send this game to the ninth inning. So an unsafe situation, but not gonna mess around here. Should be their sixth in a row. Bottom of the to short, and Chris Taylor took a funny hop on him. And Number 50, Willie Castro. One, two. Two up. Top teams in baseball, and one of the hottest teams in baseball. That'll do it. Dodgers take the series. From All right, James, it's been a minute since you probably got the results that you wanted. Today, though, you hit a grand slam. You take the lead. You break open this game. How good did it feel to get those results? Uh, I felt like a breath of fresh air, to be honest. Um, my teammates were, you know, keeping me positive through it. And, uh, you know, it was it was hard, but my teammates are they were great. They were giving me advice and helping me out. And, uh, you know, I'm really thankful for that. That was a situation in which there were two outs, bases loaded. What's your approach and your mindset in that moment? <laughs> well, I was missing under a bunch of fastballs, so I was trying to hit a chopper. Um, yeah, I was just trying to like beat it square into the ground.
This is your second career Grand Slam, but your first here at Dodger Stadium. So what did it feel like here in the home stadium? Uh, felt great. Um, it's always fun to, you know, do something in front of the fans. The fans are great. They're into the game. And, uh, you know, the fact that it was in a big spot makes it even better. When it comes to the pitching today, things did not go as planned. We saw Dustin May leave the game, but that meant that Dylan Covey and this bullpen all weekend, they stepped up. What did you see from them? Uh, Dylan did great. That's a that's a tall order to come in there, and, and he did an unbelievable job. And, uh, you know, he ate up a bunch of innings, and then we uh, – we had the other guys come in, Victor, uh, Bruce Starr, Ferg, and uh, Ev, right? That's, that was it, yeah. So, uh, you know, they're, they're always amazing. And, uh, you know, when we give them the ball, I think, you know, we're, we expect good things, and they usually they always deliver. All right, James, congratulations. Another Grand Slam in the books for you, and this time here at, in front of the fans at home. Thank First, you. First, I imagine things kind of didn't really go as planned for today, but for you to get out there and do what you did on that mound to help this team win, just – how were you ready? How did you prepare yourself kind of for this moment? I mean, I knew I was like extra hot today because of everything the bullpen's gone through the last couple of days. So I was ready. I was the only one down there when they called down and I knew that I would be the first one if something happened. And unfortunately, you know, I don't I don't really know what happened, but um, I was ready to go and, um, you know, just did my best to keep us in the game and worked out for us. So. It's kind of going through your head when you have an opportunity like this where you do get to kind of come in and step up and help this team. Yeah, it's great. I mean, previously in my career, it's been on losing teams and teams that aren't really competing for anything. So it's like really awesome to come in and help a team that is in first place win a ball game against another team that's in first place. So um, just like a totally different script that I've been on previously in my career. So it's, it's really, really fun. How quickly did you have to kind of scramble into action there in the first? I mean, I was ready. Um, they called down and said, hey, like, be ready because we don't know what's going on. So um, I was ready, and then they called down like two minutes later and told me I was in the game. So, yeah. Just considering the journey you kind of took to get back to the big leagues, I mean, how special was a day like today, and what, what sort of went into today? Uh, it was really special. I mean, I grew up 15 minutes up the road, um, grew up a Dodger fan. A couple of years ago, I didn't ever think I'd be back in this situation, but um, um, yeah, it's really special playing for a hometown team and, you know, my family's here and got to see me, so it's just special. Is there any benefit to telling you get up, get hot, get in there without having to map out the game and kind of anticipate when you might go in? Um, kind of. I mean, it was a little weird going in, not really having a scouting report, um, but, you know, they they did what they could. They showed me the guys that I was going to be facing. Um, and, you know, I just tried to stick to the game plan. And, uh, you know, they barreled a couple balls. But um, for the most part, you know, I did my job and just able to keep us keep us close, keep us tight in, in the game. First, just how is Dustin May doing? Um, not great right now. Um, we got some early tests, and it's a uh, flexor pronator strain. And so that's uh, an IL. And, uh, you know, when he returns to, to play, I don't know that answer, but uh, that's what we got right now. Considering coming off of Tommy Johnson, you answer spent some time, does that have any correlation with the two, or is that? It might, it might. Um, so I, I don't want to speak out of, out of turn, but uh, obviously it's the elbow, it's the arm he got surgery on, so I'm sure there's some correlation. I don't know. But I think it is, but I don't know. All I know—that's all I know—is what it is. That's right. Coach, what about the performance of Kobe? Oh, Kobe was great. He was fantastic. Um, obviously, having uh, Dustin go short, and uh, considering, you know, where we've been at coming off a 13 game, uh, you know, three days ago. So for him to go four innings and keep us in the ball game, give us give us a chance to win, uh, was huge and uh, couldn't be more happy for him and us. You have a little while until May's spot comes back up, but have you given thought yet to do my thing? Not yet, not yet. Um, so uh, we, we do know that uh, with uh, Dustin's spot, we're going to bring back Justin Brule. And so, uh, and then obviously, uh, you know, most likely there, there might be another move. 